Can you take your pre-med classes at a community college? That's what we're going to be talking about today, so let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael. I'm a first year DO medical student. So if you guys have any questions regarding MD versus DO, drop those down in the comments below and check out the video that I just made regarding the differences and the similarities between MDs and DOs. So one of the most commonly asked questions that I get on my Facebook page, if you guys didn't know, I do pre-med advising. I personally had a terrible experience and a terrible time with my pre-med advisors. Um, they always gave me terrible feedback, terrible advice, and ultimately just told me to quit medicine. And so I decided that once I got into medical school, I was going to start helping pre-meds like yourself get into medical school, even if you guys have a low MCAT and a low GPA. We're not perfect. You know, some people aren't good at taking tests. Some people struggled through undergrad. There's a bunch of different reasons why you might have a low MCAT and a low GPA. So if you wanna come talk to me, the link will be down in the description below. So moving on, I always get the question, can I do my pre-med requirements at a community college? And the very quick and simple answer to this question is yes, there's nothing wrong with doing your pre-med at a community college. Now. That being said, and I know you guys were waiting for that, because you have to understand that you guys are going to be competing in a very competitive application process. You're going to be going against people that went to four-year universities, and medical schools understand that community college, for the most part, is a little bit easier than the classes that you would take at a four-year university. So before deciding to do the majority of your pre-med at a community college, you have to ask yourself, you know, how competitive do I want to be when applying to medical school? Because if you want to be an extremely competitive applicant, then you really should consider doing all of your pre-med at a four-year university. Getting into medical school is hard enough, and you guys don't want to give yourself another reason why you are just not as competitive as someone else. And so can you do your pre-med at a community college? The answer is yes, you guys. There's nothing wrong with going to a community college and doing your pre-med. I understand that there are working parents out there. I understand that there are some students that just can't afford a large university. And for those students out there, Go to a community college, do your pre-med, and go to medical school. It's that easy. And medical schools are not going to hold you guys accountable for the cards that you've been dealt in life. They understand that, you know, there's working parents. They understand that not everyone can afford a huge university. Going to college is expensive. And if you guys can save a few bucks going to a community college, or not even just saving a few bucks, but maybe that's all you can afford then that is completely fine, you guys. If you wanna become a doctor, you don't have to be rich in order to become a doctor. You just need to want it bad enough and to have the proper resources that are gonna get you to that point. Now, there is one thing that I wanna make sure all of you guys understand. And when you are going to a community college to do your pre-med um, prereqs, you wanna make sure that that community college is gonna actually be able to transfer those credits to the medical school. So basically what that means is you wanna make sure that the credits you're taking at that community college are valid because there's gonna come a point when you're gonna to need to transfer those credits to a four-year university in order to get a bachelor's degree, which is required for medical school. You need a bachelor's degree um, and that's the same thing as a major. And so medical schools don't require you to do a particular major. You can major in whatever you guys want. And I highly recommend majoring in something that interests you because that's ultimately gonna help you guys get better grades in the end. And when it comes down to it, when you're applying to medical school, you want the highest GPA you can possibly get. And I'm not only referring to your cumulative GPA, but more specifically to your science GPA. So if you're not very strong in the sciences, I'd recommend majoring in something that's not science related, which is gonna help boost that cumulative GPA. So something I did, I knew I wasn't gonna be great at organic chemistry or great at physics, but I spoke Spanish as a second language 
And so I actually got my major in Spanish, but I also did my pre-med. Now, I knew I was going to do extremely well in my Spanish classes, which I did. I ultimately got all A's, which helped my cumulative GPA. However, I didn't really do that well in my pre-med courses, but thankfully, because I did well in my Spanish courses, I ended up getting a decent cumulative GPA. I think it was around a 3.3, but here's the kicker. Medical schools are gonna focus most of their attention on your science GPA. And that's kind of what killed me because my science GPA was about a 2.7, which is clearly not good enough to get into medical school, which led me to have to do a special master's program and then ultimately I was able to get into medical school that way. So I know this video is all about community colleges and going to medical school and how they relate. And so I wanna to talk to you guys about your GPA. MCAT and GPA are the two most important factors when determining if someone gets into medical school. So if you're a student that thinks going to a four-year university right off the bat is going to actually lower your science GPA because of the large class sizes, the difficulty of the courses, then in that case, I would kind of recommend doing some of your pre-med at a community college. I wouldn't recommend doing all of it there, but maybe do some of the more difficult classes. So for example, maybe at the four-year university, you do general biology, maybe general chemistry one and two, and then go to the community college and do organic chemistry, maybe do physics, and then possibly do your biochemistry at the four-year university. That way you're showing medical schools that you're taking some of your pre-med classes at the four-year university level, but then you're also helping your GPA by taking the harder classes at the community college level, which ultimately is a much easier level. This is gonna be a great way to help you guys maintain a competitive GPA without doing all of your pre-med courses at the community college level. Now, I know for a lot of pre-meds, money can be a big issue when it comes down to paying for college. So here's my two cents on what I recommend you guys do if you're in that situation. So you all know that you have to do basically two years of general education and then basically two years of your major. So what I would recommend is do those first two years at the community college. Get your history done, get your English done, get your general biology done if you need to, get maybe general chemistry. And I know I'm kind of contradicting what I just previously said, but this is kind of a different situation. So if money's the issue, then take the majority of your general education at the community college level. So your first two years of school, community college, it's gonna be much cheaper. Then do your final two years, which will include your major and the rest of your pre-med courses at a four-year university. This is not only gonna help you guys save money, but it's also gonna help you guys boost your GPA because if you guys do the stuff at the community college, hopefully you guys are getting A's at the community college level because it's gonna be a little bit more difficult once you go to a four-year university. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any additional questions, you guys can leave those down in the comments below and I will get back to you. If you guys need someone to talk to, a good pre-med advisor, you can definitely book an appointment with me. I'd be more than happy to help you guys figure out your journey to medical school. And so with that being said, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.